Hey guys, Brian Delevergy the Goods here, um, returning to you for Normandy's Dopamine album review that I got a chance to listen to for this 41 and a half minute record. So it's not very long, but still. I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for all 13 tracks for her highly, I believe, debut studio album for her anticipated new album, Dopamine, and let you know my thoughts on this and highly anticipated, not highly anticipated, but anticipated album we've been waiting on for quite a while. So let's dive into this album review. Now, basically, Big Boy starts off okay. It just, there were some cringy moments through this song that I found Normandy's rapping, singing, being a little mediocre, but still kind of cringy. But off the bat, it's an okay song. 3.25 out of 5. Still is okay, too. I just wasn't feeling it too much. But I think this could have been a little better of a track. And Normandy's singing from time to time is okay. But it just the lyrics kind of throw me off. So 3.25 out of 5. It's still an okay track, melody-wise. But it's the lyrics that I kind of have a little bit of an issue with i can get on board with it a little but lyric wise it's hit or miss all yours is a three out of five i just felt this one was kind of eh, meh in a way i think this really could have been a lot better but this is what she went for with this track so three out of five lights on was actually pr a good song in its own way um, I did not necessarily hate this track for what it sounded like, but um, I think execution-wise, it was solid for what it went for. And lyrically, it's not bad. And that was the only thing. Some of the lyrics are kind of iffy in this track. They're still good, but it just execution-wise, it was a good song. So, 4.5 out of 5. Take My Time sexualized song but it's still a good song in its own way it sounds good with her vocals in this track and i'm really appreciating how she's singing this track so this is a 4.5 out of 5 for this one i think with how it sounded overall this song could have been hit or miss but it still did all right uh, Insomnia is a 4.75 out of 5. I think this is a pretty good track. I was actually impressed with this song for how it sounded. Normandy's vocals um, sounds really good. So I'm really digging this track and how it's executing with the melody, with her singing, with some of the lyrics are pretty good. So this is a 4.75 out of 5. Probably the most favorite track I like from this record. Candy Paint is decent. I think some of the lyrics are pick and choosy, meaning it's iffy. It's a hit or miss kind of track, but I think it's decent with the melody and how she's singing it from time to time. It doesn't sound bad, but it could be a little worked on in a bit. So four out of five. Grip is kind of meh. I think this track could have been something else, but um, it is it is what it is. She mentions grip with your dick or whatever, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of cringy. So there were a few cringy moments through this song that I found there to be issues with, but o overall execution-wise, it's kind of mid, so 3 out of 5. 159 featuring Gunna was actually a good song. I was actually surprised with this track. I wasn't sure if I was going to be on board with it when I first heard it, uh, maybe a few weeks ago. But off the bat, I think it's a good song for what it went for, so 4.5 out of 5. Distance is a good track um, in its own way. I really like Normandy's vocals in this track. Uh, her vocals were pretty good. And just execution-wise, this track really could have been something really good, but it's just the melody was a little slow-paced, and there were a few critiques I had with it. But off the bat, it's a good song, 4.5 out of 5.
Tantrums featuring James Blake was above decent. I think this track, James Blake's vocals were not really up my alley. Because his falsettos weren't sounding that great. I know he was trying, but it just... With him singing in this track, I wasn't really f connecting with it too much. I think Normandy was sounding good, but his vocals were kind of... Eh, kind of on the fence with me. So 4.25 out of 5. Little Secrets is the second to last track before you get to the closing track, which has an artist I don't like basically featured in the song, which I'm going to mention that artist in a second. This is a good song. I actually was thinking this was one of the favorite songs for this record. One of the highlights. Another one of the highlights. So I'm really digging this. 4.5 out of 5. Normanese vocals are pretty outstanding. And there's some moments where there's some cringe lyrics in it. But off the bat, it's good. Wild Side featuring Cardi B is a meh track. I mean, I will say this. Normandy did have some cringe moments with her singing and rapping in this track. But execution-wise, this was kind of mid. Uh, I think Cardi B didn't sound good in this track. She was trash in this song. But Normandy kind of brought the song to a okay standard, meaning it's... In the middle with me, so 3 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I found Normandy Dopamine to be an okay record. I wasn't really that impressed with it too much, but there were some tracks I could not really get on board with, like Big Boy, Still, All Yours, uh, Grip, and Wild Side, along with Tantrums and Candy Paint, but those were probably some of the highlighted songs I would say I'd listen to some of the time. But my probably my favorite tracks on here are Lights On, Take My Time, Insomnia, 159 featuring Gunna. Even though Gunna didn't sound great, he was tolerable in this track. Distance and Little Secrets. Those are probably the most highlighted tracks, but off the bat, if I were to give this record a score, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It's okay. It's almost decent, but I don't think it deserves a 7 out of 10, because it just... There were some cringe moments through this record, lyrically, that I found there to be issues with, but uh, execution-wise... It's listenable, but it's okay. So, uh, 6.5 out of 10 for Normandy Dopamine, her new album that's coming out June 14th. Hopefully you enjoyed this album review for her highly anticipated uh, record that's coming out tomorrow or at midnight tonight. Definitely, I guess, check it out to see what you think of it for yourself. And with that being said, thanks for watching my album review for Normandy Dopamine.